What's up everyone, OG over here from Player Essence. Welcome back to a different type of video. Today we are taking a look at a very, very important matter in today, and that is Sour Patch Kids cereal. Okay, you guys all know I love me some Sour Patch Kids, but why or who would think it would be a good idea to make Sour Patch Kids cereal? Well, Post would, apparently. Post thinks it's a good idea. Now, I know you guys probably have a lot of questions like one, why is he doing this? Well, one, it's important. That's the first thing. And probably some of you guys are asking, why is there Splatoon in Mario Kart 8 over here? Why am I wearing this silly hat? Well, I'll tell you guys all of this. This is all very important and ties into the whole thing. One, this is a gaming channel, so we have to tie this into gaming somehow. And this is a custom-made Splatoon um, hat from RMC, Go Nintendo. His mom made this, so I bought it. And I wanted to wear it for a video because I've never done it before. I've worn it like one time or something like that. So I wanted to wear it. And two, this cereal reminds me of Splatoon for some reason. If I'm going to be playing some Splatoon, I might want to try this cereal because of all the different colors. And there's all the colors on Splatoon and Mario Kart 8. It just reminds me of that. So this cereal potentially, potentially has uh, some gamer food merit, right? So while you're playing Splatoon 2 or you're playing... Uh, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, you can eat some of this cereal and it might be good. Now, here's what we're going to do for the taste test, guys. We are going to do dry cereal, okay, just by itself, all right, dry cereal, and then we're going to do with some milk here. I'm lactose intolerant, so we've got some almond milk, but to me, it's whatever. I like this stuff more than I like regular milk. Regular milk is disgusting and I can't drink it, so it's just like whatever, you know, and sorry for like the thuds because you guys are going to hear it. My mic's right there because I want to make sure that you guys hear what I'm saying. This is very important. So once again, this is a blind taste test. I have never had this cereal before and we are going to open it up and taste it dry for the first time and then we are going to taste it with milk for the first time. So like I said, never had it. This is the first time. I'm going to give you guys what I think. Just going off right off the bat. Let's just go ahead and Ooh, oh, yeah. The smell is of Sour Patch. It's literally of, I mean, I know it's weird and I know it should, but it literally is like Sour Patch Kids. Like, it's like the same smell almost in like a kind of like a, a cereal form. I don't know how to, like a, like a smell sour compared to like Fruity Pebbles or like compared to like Fruit Loops, you know? So, um,. All right, here we go. So first taste test, just gonna grab a, a few of them and just. That's not something that should. <laughs> I don't, I think this is a mistake. I think this is, this is a mistake. This must be a mistake. This is, this cereal is not a, it's not a good thing. I don't know if it's a good thing to eat something like this, like a cereal. Candy, yes, but. Okay, so they advertise a sour, then sweet taste, and that's that's true. But the problem is like the sour, it like hits you, man. Like it really hits you. It hits you not as hard as like the candy, but I mean, I got this box in my way, but it, it definitely hits you a bit. Yeah, that was oh man, I, I'm not feeling like I want to actually put this thing in milk and try it out right now. I mean, I'm really fearing for what could happen to me. Um, if I do this, um, all right, well, we're still going to do it. We're going to have a, we're going to have a nice boss. Oh, this is a miss. Oh, should you guys buy this? I, look, I'm doing this for you guys. Cause some of you guys might get curious when you're at the, um, when you're at the, when you're at the, the grocery store and maybe I can save you guys some money or maybe. Maybe I would. I, I won't. Maybe some of you guys will still go out there and buy it out of curiosity. Uh, but curiosity killed the cat, or maybe it killed the OJ at this point. So uh, we're, we're gonna try out this cereal, guys. Pray for me. Let's just go ahead and take a. Mm mm. Mm mm. Mm mm. No, it's just not. The sourness in there, I don't think it really fits well even while playing games because when you're playing games, you don't want something necessarily that's going to be sour than sweet. You want something that's instantly 
enjoyable and gratifying and the problem with this cereal is that it just it feels like it's trying too hard to be sour patch kids and i know it says sour patch kids on there but you need to ease up just a bit post makes all sorts of other stuff like they make like oreo cereal or, or oreo cereal they make like um the a golden oreo cereal they make like all sorts of things they make nutter butter but man dude this is just this is a little rough Mm. There's no point. There's no point in eating this when you have fruit oops out there. When you have fruity pebbles out there. When you have any of the malto meal or whatever those out there. There's no point in eating this. Mm -mm. It just has this. It just has a very unsatisfying taste to it, and it makes me, it's just not good. It's its just not good. I mean, you have to be a psychopath to like this cereal, or you have to be like, the sour is not what milk, I mean, like sour milk. I mean, I don't know. It's just not something that's very good. Um, the texture and the definition of this cereal tastes disgusting. This is not a good cereal, guys. Um, Post makes some good stuff, what they've done before. But unfortunately, this is not one of them. I'll take one more bite just to kind of just see if there's maybe like a different flavor that I didn't get. Mm -mm. No, it's still disgusting. Mm. Yeah, it's still disgusting. Um, Yeah. It's not very good, guys. It's not very good. Do not buy this cereal. You should not buy this cereal. Um, if anything, you should get like the Nutter Butter. They have like the Nutter Butter cereal. That's much better. Maybe I can do a review or a taste test on that. They have some other cereals. Um, but this shouldn't be one of them. Uh, this should definitely not be one of them. And this was a mistake. This cereal was a mistake. I don't know if Sour Patch Kids, who paid for it to be, whether it was Post or whether it was uh, the Sour Patch Kids Cup. I don't know if they're even owned by the same one. I'm not sure. But whatever way, whatever way, shape, or form this was, like, this idea was made, it should die. Butterfly effect. Go back in time and just kill this idea um, because this cereal is disgusting. And this is not worth the $3 and however much cents that I paid for it. It's just not. It's just not. So um, we are going to have a unique type of rating system that we're going to do here. We're not going to do a normal rating system. Um... With it, I'm going to go grab something real quick, guys, and I'll be right back. All right, for our rating system here on Player Essence, I have four different games, and I'm going to give you the rating based on these games here. And the rating basically goes from top to bottom. It'll be Ultimate, right? Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. That's the rating that I have for these food tests that I'm going to do here. All right, so it's either an Ultimate, it's either a modern classic, like Beautiful Joe, a modern classic. I'm trying to stand this up. It's either a good idea, but executed poorly, which is uh, a Star Fox Zero. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Look, look at this. It's just kind of moving on its own. A Star Fox Zero. <laughs> a Star Fox Zero, or it's a Raging Blast, or Raging Trash, as I like to say. And that is um, Dragon Ball Z, Raging Trash. But it's called Raging Blast, but I just substituted blast with trash because that makes sense because this game is trash so that's the rating system that we're going to be going here with and for my first review it's very unfortunate that i have to give this game this but um it's definitely not going to be an ultimate so it's not an ultimate so we're going to go ahead and uh, put this off to the side it's not an ultimate um it's not a modern classic either so it's not that it's not ultimate this game it's great but it's not an ultimate but it's not a modern classic either so it's not that um, unfortunately, it's not, there's not really anything executed well or a good idea. I don't think this was even a good idea, uh, but just executed poorly. So it's not this either. So unfortunately, it's the lowest rating that you can get. It's a raging trash. Uh, Dragon Ball Z raging trash. So this cereal is horrible. So this cereal is not very good. Um, I don't recommend it. And I think I might rather play Dragon Ball Z raging blast than to take another bite of this cereal and that's pretty bad because i absolutely hate this game so what do you guys think sour patch kids have you tried them um will you buy one of these squid hats 
And um, <laughs> what cereal or what food do you guys think that I can buy here in the U.S. Um, that I should do next? If you guys have some suggestions, feel free to drop them in the comment section below. Let me know what you guys think about the format and what we can do. And what foods or cereals or stuff that you guys want me to try and try to fandangle it into video games. Um, however so that I can, however way. I'm going to look at the colors then put some games to represent that. So, a very unfortunate post. Kill this idea. It's raging trash. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I do appreciate it. If you guys do like this video and do like content like this, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe if you're someone new. Also, make sure you check out the links in the description below. We got Facebook and Twitter. Go ahead and give us a like and a follow on our social media. Really does help us out. And of course, uh, subscribe to Play for this RPG, Japanese, Nintendo gaming, and disgusting serial reviews. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace.